quickly revise this topic again this is cfa level 3 fixed income portfolio management the name of the topic is relative valuation methodologies for global credit bond portfolio management the idea of the topic is to decide first you understand different terms second what type of relative valuation metrics we use in the fixed income world first learning outcome we saw there were two approaches so relative value analysis assets are compared we rank the bonds approaches are top down approach and bottom up approach then cyclical and secular secular changes what were the cyclicals increase in number of issues will validate the current pricing the validation will reduce pricing uncertainty that will result into reduced spreads and bond value increases for existing investors what are the secular changes in the markets so number 1 intermediate bullets dominate corporate bond market then callable issues dominate high yield market securities with embedded options stayed at a premium due to their scarcity value longer duration bonds trade at a premium credit derivatives are increasingly used i think we didn't write this point you write down this point in your notes the points that we listed under secular changes write down credit derivatives are increasingly used credit derivatives are increasingly used so in curriculum there is a question it says uh, it takes uh, one sentence from the fabuzi handbook the question setter has taken one sentence from the fabuzi handbook and the sentence is essentially about uh, how markets have evolved or changed over the time and then it it writes down that sentence as it is gives reference to the book and then it uh, it will ask you a question that what would be the implication of this sentence on the bond market so the implications are these ones first that bonds with embedded options have a scarcity value second longer duration bonds will trade at a premium and third credit derivatives are becoming more popular next learning outcome liquidity so this is relatively easier to handle positive relationship between bond price and liquidity the more liquid the bond is higher would be the bond price lesser would be the yield move in debt market is towards liquidity due to trading innovations and competition among the portfolio management so again over the time the liquidity in the bond markets has improved us markets then what are the rationals for secondary bond trades yield spread pickup trade so humne dekha tha you migrate you migrate from a rated bond maybe to triple b rated just to pick up some additional spread credit upside trade credit defense trade new issue swap sector rotation yield curve adjustment just alter the duration that was the world then structure trade you are getting into a structure and cash flow reinvestment rate and the last learning outcome different spreads so this is repetition nominal swap spread and os spread analysis we looked at three ratios mean reversion do you remember this then quality spread and percentage yield spread quality yield spread is the same thing buy an issue with spread wider than what is justified by its quality then bond structures bullet structures short term is 1 to 5 medium is 5 to 12 long term is 20 to 30 callable bonds will exhibit negative convexity if interest rate is going to go down then callable bonds will underperform if interest rates are going to go up then callable bonds will outperform compared to a regular non callable and all of you understand what is a sinking fund you issue a bond let's say with a par value of 10 million you keep them sinking fund so every year you call back let's say 2 million on a based on a pre specified schedule or putable bonds then what are the rationals for not trading number one is quality constraint so let's say you are a uh, insurance investor or you are a pension investor you have a mandate only to invest into let's say uh, high quality bonds or investable grade so that is a quality constraint 
then restriction on structure many investors are not allowed to invest into collabs hild corporate exposure limits for insurance companies so if you if you are an insurance company you have a portfolio there is a limit on what percentage of your portfolio could be in hilds so hild cor- corporate exposure limits for insurance companies structure and quality restriction repetition of the earlier point story disagreement have we discussed this disagreement between buy side and sell side analyst buy and hold seasonality did we discuss this slowing of trading at the end of the months and then credit analysis four types of bonds corporate bond you look at capacity to pay municipal bond you look at ability to assess and collect taxes asset back security quality of collateral and servicer and sovereign bonds you look at ability and willingness to pay are we done here